Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the hair experience. We talk about hair cutters. We talk about hair systems and hair replacements. Bonding it, cutting it, cleaning, installing it, maintaining it, and a life with it. Subscribe below. It's important to me. If you would please consider it, I would be grateful. Ebook will teach you how to do all this. Video ebook if you don't like to read. Two hours and 40 minutes of teaching. That's a lot. <clears throat> you can do it chapter by chapter though, super easy. Um, starter kit will get you everything you need at home. And hairbymhe.com will be online in about a week and a half. So I'm just trying to be patient and to get everything perfect so I don't make any mistakes. All right, what are you talking about today, Curtis? I am talking about how to uh, tighten up your hairline. Like if you get a new stock unit, okay, how to, how to get your hairline how you want it to be. Um, trimming and plucking and things like that. So um, this unit's been on for about four days now. This is one of the new units. I'm just going through different ones. I actually wanted to try a 20% gray uh, for myself. So that's the only reason why I even changed my last unit because I wanted to see if 20% gray would look a little bit better and I think it does. Anyways, I have trimmed this one already a little bit. Okay, whenever I first installed it, this is, you guys are gonna see it in the rough. So, hold on. Let me, let me get it wet. I wanna show you guys how to trim and pluck. And we'll, we'll start with poly. Okay, this is a, obviously a poly unit. All right. And this is gonna be up close and personal with my hairline, all right? And honestly, like if you looked at this, like that spot right there, if you looked at this and it wasn't with lighting, like right above it like this, it's like me looking in the mirror, it looks perfect. All right, that's, that's what we got. Now, how did you get here? This hair back out of the way. I like this widow's peak thing, okay? The hair, the hair stock comes with a CC curvature, okay? So, which is going to be kind of the curve. You guys are gonna see me watching the camera as well, so I'm not staring directly into the lens. I'm trying to watch so I can see what I'm showing you guys. Um, they come as a CC curvature, which is not as defined of a widow's peak as what I have right now. Okay, so I like to do about 10 minutes worth of refining to make it exactly how I want it to be. All right, that's, that's what we're working with. Okay, all right. Get everything out of the way. All right, what I do, stand by, I cannot find my uh, tweezers, hold on. Okay, I'm back. All right, what I do normally is I install the unit and I get my front tip area exactly where I want it to be, okay? All right. Got a little bit coming up right there because I'm really tugging on it really hard. Um, all right, what I get is my area right here. I might have to fix that. Right here, where exactly where I want it to be, okay? Then I get these things. Okay. They are called um, eyebrow trimmers. I sell them on the website, but I'm out of stock right now. So they're cheap. They're like four or five bucks a piece. Some places you'll find them for 10 or $15. They're not worth it. Just get the inexpensive ones. But you have to make sure that the blades stay clean. Okay, so they work perfect. What I do, I like this little widow's peak action, okay? So what I do is I'll take my snippers like this now you're going to see me looking at the mirror at the same time and trying to do this and i take i'm not going to cut anything today but i take and i cut just that edge where i want it to be slowly you know probably a half a millimeter at a time all right so i'm cutting a half a millimeter at a time and just kind of putting my hands through it and looking back and going hmm, i like that or i don't like that okay once i get my curve kind of not exactly as far back as I want it to go. Then I start with the uh, tweezers. And what I do on a poly unit, on a thin skin poly, all right, you can just pluck, grab a hair, pull it out. See what I mean? Grab you a hair and pull it out and just 
Just keep going like that until you refine that area how you want it to be. Super easy, right? Don't get anxious, don't get upset, don't get uh, in a hurry or anything like that. Just take your time and, uh, and you'll get it exactly where you want it to be. Just kind of pluck around, thin the areas, but make sure you, guys, the thing, a big deal with this is, is there's no such thing as a perfect hairline in the God-given world when we were received hairlines as, as babies or whatever. There's no perfect. So as you can see, there's a little thinning over here and it's a little thicker over here. Big deal. We're not gonna have this perfect hairline. It's just, it's physically impossible. It doesn't happen in real life. I've researched hairlines for hours and hours of just like movie stars, just pulling up pictures. And some of them have like indentions that go up in the middle, like an like opposite widow's peak kind of thing. There's all kinds of things out there. So guys, it's not gonna be perfect. You don't want it to be perfect. That's when you run into problems. So just pluck away. Just kind of work back and forth on the area that you wanna be in. Don't stay in one place for too long. Um, and uh, just step back, look in the mirror and go, I like that or I don't like that. It's just that simple. All right, now we'll go on to a lace system, all right? If you get a system that has good, um, good bleached knots, okay? You can, if you are experienced and you have a good bond with a lace system and good bleached knots, okay? You can lightly pluck a lace system in the exact same manner I'm doing, okay? But you're going to want to get closer to the base when you do it. So you're gonna wanna really just get right down on the base as much as you can and go gently. You don't wanna stretch the unit, you don't wanna pull the unit, you don't wanna, once you stretch it, it will cause wrinkling, okay? This is the least suggested way to do this, okay? The least suggested way. The better suggested way is there's a couple of different ways you can do it. If you have good bleach knots, you get a mannequin head, the one that I always show you guys, and you're gonna take your push pins, okay? Like I show in the book and stuff, and you push pin down to the mannequin head with your unit, brand new out of the box, okay? You push pin it down, and then you can do it there, okay? But you've got push pins, and you're probably gonna have six or eight of them in the front on the piece that you're not, that you're gonna cut off anyways. You might even put 10 there, okay, or 12, just to make sure that it's good and secure, and you also wanna go around the back a little bit to make sure that area is secure. And then you can pluck, okay? But you're gonna to wanna to want to pluck from the base. So if there's two or three hairs coming out of one spot, you're gonna to wanna to get as close to the base as you can and pluck that way. There's also another way you can flip the unit over and do it, but it's really tough because you can't see what the heck you're doing on top. Um, I've heard of guys chemically doing it. Um, I don't suggest that, I've never tried it. I don't, I think it would be too risky. I mean, even if you got a good hairline today out of the deal, then tomorrow or the next week, the hairs that you softened the the uh, the knot with with a chemical could just start to fall out um, because the, the hair is so over-processed, it just, it's already pissed off. We don't wanna make it any more mad. Um, but yeah, put it down on a, uh, on a mannequin head. If you're experienced, you can do this, but you need to really take your time with a lace system. Now, if you're rocking a system that come from a, a distributor where the bleach knots are not all that great, you can't pluck, okay? Plucking is a bad idea because you'll leave that knot behind. So all you're gonna have is these black dots on the front hairline of your head and no hair associated with said black dots. Nobody wants that. So the best way to do it is to get a good quality system that's going to have bleach knots um, that are gonna, the bleach knots are gonna actually come up just a maybe a half a millimeter past the base, okay? So it looks more natural that way. That's the way my systems are. Um, and then you can do it that way. So I hope that helps, guys. I really do. Polys are super easy to do this with. Um, lace will take you a little bit more time. If you got questions, hit me up in the comments. Uh, hit the subscribe button, super important to me. I'm kind of tired today. Sorry I sound so mopey. That's what I got today, guys. Hit me up if you need something and uh, that's what I got. Talk to you in a few days. Thanks.